outpouring of support continues tonight for a family who lost four members in that fire in Castle Hill this past Sunday. An absolute tragedy. News 12's Brittany Cadet spoke with many of those still mourning tonight as they gathered to remember and honor the victims. Well, this is just a heartbreaking story as we continue to learn more about those family members that died in that fire on Quimby Avenue on a Sunday morning. And now family members and extended friends and families are all here just trying to hold on to the little bit of faith that they have left tonight. Those four family members have been identified as 22 year old Ahmed Salah, who the family says was an inspiration just like his father. 12 year old Mohammed Salah, who was described as an angel that was always helpful to mom and family members. 10 year old Khalid, who was uncle described as a rambunctious ball of fun who kept the house alive. And 10 month old Abra, who was the first grandchild of the family. Earlier today, the family said their final goodbye to those four over in Sunset Park and were later buried over in Marlboro, New Jersey. Many family members here today are holding back tears, talking to us, and they say this is such a tragic moment for not only the family, but for the community. Yesterday, I went last night, like at 7 o'clock, all his friends from the school, they bring some uh, candles, balloons, some candy, and they were crying so hard. I have to hug like three, two girls and one of the boys gets to calm them down. Everybody loved them. And family members here also tell us there is actually a fourth sibling who was at the hospital at the time of the fire giving birth. And those family members who survive those who died on Sunday morning is the grandfather of baby Abra, the father of those children and the baby's mother. We're in Castle Hill. I'm Brittany Cadet. News 12.